Hey guys, in this video I want to share the way I make my builds. If you're new in this franchise, the process may seem really convoluted, but all you need to do is address some things prior to start making mid builds. At the very least for me, one important step is to understand the kind of weapon you're using. I'll use the lance as an example to explain this point. This weapon is kinda slow but consistent while hitting, the complete opposite to something like the dual blades regarding speed. This may sound like, okay, but what about that? There are skills that have a much better benefit with fast hitting weapons compared to slow ones. Chain crit is one example, because it is a skill that activates after you land a hit, but further improves after 5 concept grip ones. In theory, it sounds good, but once you put it to the test, there aren't that many scenarios where the lance is able to consistently poke 5 times. In the other hand, for the dual blades, that is really easy. This point also includes understanding the kind of skills that your weapon requires to be effective. I say it in that way because every person is going to prioritize some skills over everything else. Whenever we talk about the lens, this is a small list of skills that work with it. Guard, guard up, offensive guard, attack boost, critical eye. But there are obviously the ones that have no effect, like power prolonger, rapid morph, and so on. Once you have narrowed down the list of skills that work with your weapon, then you need to start working towards getting the best benefit of said skills. What I mean with this is that for example, in defensive sets, using at least guard 3 is what I would recommend. And if you add something like offensive guard, it is almost a must to use guard to reduce the knockback and be able to effectively use this skill at its best. The other consideration is, what is the main purpose of the build you are going to create? Is it focused in raw damage, elemental, ailments, defense? And based on that, start prioritizing skills. As example, I like to have something like really offensive set, defensive ones, and sometimes hybrids, depending which monster I am fighting. Let's say that you have a clear idea. Then the second step is the most important one. Do you have a really good charm? Or do you need to rely on something standard to make your build? Most of the times I share a build, I try to use something standard, like a charm with two tier 2 slots, but if you have something like the following, then use those and work around those charms. For example, if I had a weakness exploit 2 with one tier 2 slot, in most of my builds I would use that charm, unless I have another idea in mind. In my case, in many of my builds I tend to use this attack boost 3, because from this point onwards getting 7 is way easier. If you have a critical eye 3, then use that, and I hope you get this idea. Once the charm has been chosen, then the third point is getting to know the different armor sets and which pieces get the best result for your build. Let's say that you need weakness exploit 3, there are basically 4 approaches for this. The first one is by using a really good charm. The second is by using something like a shortcut with Balsred's braces in Ogre Mail. The third one is use some other pieces to get one level or two and then add some decos. And the fourth is by straight adding three decos. The way I usually work this around is by specifically looking for the skills that I want and then check which pieces work the best for what I am looking for. Because let's say that you want to add guard skills. And sure, there are 25 pieces that have that skill. However, you need to start working around your objective. Like this piece has guard 1, but for better results I need guard 2, but I have some griefs in mind for let's say Agitator 3, so I need another piece. However, I also require the helm for the crown. So you start focusing your options into something specific. And that is basically the way I make my builds. There are no rules to make builds. I hope this information is useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.